Today on our 2000 Toyota Tacoma, we'll be installing Kurt Hitch, part number 13013. Here's what our hitch looks like installed on our vehicle. Now we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements in helping you choose some accessories for your hitch, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the bumper is approximately 3 inches, and from the top of the opening in the hitch to the ground is approximately 22 inches. Now let's go ahead and install our hitch. To begin with, we'll need to go ahead and undo the two license plate lights. In this case, we found it easier just to twist the whole light assembly from the back and pull it out. Once you have the lights removed, go ahead and secure them up above to keep them out of the way for the hitch install. Now we'll need to go ahead and locate the four bolts, two on each side, that will allow us to remove the rear bumper from the vehicle. It may be helpful to go ahead and use a little spray lubricant on both of the bolts as we will be reusing them later. In this case, the bolt closest to the front of the vehicle had a weld nut on part of the frame and was just the bolt. And the rear bolt on this one was actually a nut on the inside, so we had to use a socket on both sides to remove the bolt and the nut. Go ahead and get an extra set of hands to help you hold the bumper before removing all the bolts. Once all the bolts have been removed, go ahead and pull the bumper with the bumper brackets off the vehicle. Once you have the bumper and the brackets off, you'll need to remove the two bolts from either side of the bumper bracket that hold it to the bumper. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our hitch up. To begin with, we use the half inch carriage bolt and the block, as well as the flange nut. There'll be one used on each side. This will go in the tab that is on the horizontal position on the hitch. Once you have both the carriage block and the bolt in place, go ahead and get someone to help you raise the hitch up into place and go ahead and loosely put the flange nut on each side. Once you have this in place, next you'll need to take the bumper bracket and making sure that the tab goes through the hole in the hitch and catches the edge of the frame as well, as seen here. Once you have that into position, go ahead and reinstall the front bolt, which in this case had a weld nut behind it. Again, just loosely put the bolts in. You'll do that for both the driver and the passenger side. Next we'll go ahead and put the rear bolt in. In this case, it was a bolt as well as the loose nut that was on the back side. Once you have all the hardware loosely attached, make sure the hitch is centered up on the vehicle. Go ahead and tighten down all the hardware, followed by torquing it to the manufacturer's specification. Keep in mind that there is two different torque settings for the N12 bolts versus the half inch bolts. Once you have this hardware torqued down, now you need to get someone to help you place the bumper back over the two bumper brackets. Now I found that if you put the bolt in that's closest to the front of the vehicle when putting the bumper back on, go ahead and tighten this one down a little more as it'll allow the bolt to go into the rear of the vehicle a little easier on the bumper. Go ahead and tighten all four of these down. Now we can reinstall the license plate lights. That'll complete the installation of our Kurt Hitch part number 13013 on our 2000 Toyota Tacoma.